Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. So tonight's video is an open collab and it's called Journal Jubilee and it's hosted by um, Perry Picola's Vlogs. I was going to say Jennifer, so Jennifer over at Perry Picola's Vlogs, Jamie at Jamie Leesman and myself, I'm Linda and my channel is Pretty Designs and Thrifty Finds. And like I was saying, it's an open collab and anyone can join in. We upload on Tuesdays, but um, you can do it any day you want. Just tag us or just put the hashtag um, Journal Jubilee. I'll put all the information in the description box when I put the video up. Um, and so let me go ahead. I'm going to show you what I did. Like I've been uh, doing this one for the month of May because one of my son's birthdays in May and one of my sister's birthdays in May and my birthdays in May you know plus I'm putting like little spring things on summery things and things that remind me of May Mother's Day whatever um, and there is you know there's no real rhyme or reason to the way I set the book up um, but there is a theme that I usually have to my books um, and I call mine a joy journal, even though this is called the Journal Jubilee, and you could be a junk journal, it could be a scrapbook, it could be a glue book, anything that you want to call it, it's yours, own it, you know, I, I was worried at first that mine wasn't going to be, you know, up to, you know, certain expectations, but then I'm like, you know what, it's my book, it's my personal art, my personal journal, so, and mine mostly consists of memories, okay, so, um, there is birthdays this month, so I put the cake on. If you saw this last week, I'll just go skimming through it really, really quick. I didn't add too much to it. So if you saw it last week, you saw that that represents my son. Um, and I'll just skim through what I already showed, Mother's Day. Um, and then again, Mother's Day. Um, a cupcake that says Happy Birthday that just basically represents all three of us, my son, my sister, and myself. Um, I really didn't add anything on here. I did tell a story about the boy bands last week. If you missed that, it was kind of cute about my sister. Um, I still want to do more on this page. Um, I love Hello Kitty, but I have a granddaughter that's like crazy about Hello Kitty. As a matter of fact, she got her nails done with actual like pieces of like little cats on the thumb nails and bows on the other ones. Um, just yesterday, if you watch one of my shorts, you'll see it. I cannot believe what they did to her nails. It's insane. It's gorgeous. Um, and, yeah, I didn't add really anything else to this. This is my favorite orange juice. Um, and then another one with the boy bands for my sister. And um, Memorial Day. I forgot to say, yeah, Memorial Day is at the end of the month. And I'm leaving spaces so I can add to it. Because I don't think I'll be done with this in this month of May. I might just go back to it next May. I, I can't decide. So, um, I love Starbucks. So, um, the other day we got sandwiches at Starbucks. So, what I did was I have one bag that I put. There's two bags here. There's one here in the back. And then there's another one that I matched to fold it. So, I have a short spot in here. But there's a... I left it so you could put something really tall um, sticking out of it too. So there's two pouches here. And this one I put like, I have a Hello Kitty, um, you know, palette. So I just took the top off of that and I put it in there. And I do have some ticket stubs, but I had them earlier and I can't find them. And then um, I was going to put them in there. And then, then this piece of cake looks like this would be my ideal piece of birthday cake because I love chocolate and I love white frosting and even though that has chocolate frosting on it it's got the white in the middle and that's my favorite and then um I originally put that up there because I'm a hairdresser and I thought that was cute with the scissors but I also like the saying I'm gonna need a glue gun some pinking shears and five yards of gross grain ribbon that should do it that was um in Legally Blonde too okay so and I love like silly little sayings and then I this was on the back of the coloring book that I just um, did with the coloring party with friends and I figured this is so summery and even though May is not summer yet it is the official kickoff you know at the end of the month when everybody starts having cookouts and then my granddaughter made me this um, Betty Boop and she knows I love Betty Boop and 
she drew that all on her own. She didn't trace it. Her father, who is my son, is a really good artist too. Um, and my granddaughter just turned 10 and she did that all on her own, that Betty Boop. And I'm so proud of her for doing that. Isn't that beautiful? She's a beautiful girl and she is a beautiful artist, just like her father. And um, then she made like her own little version of Betty Boop holding a um, little card with a heart. She made that for me. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. And then, um, then I'm a hairdresser, so I just cut this out of the front of a, a thing that comes to my house, and I just covered up the name of the company that's in it. And I thought I'd put the word joy there because that is a big part of my life. I've been a hairdresser ever since I was a teenager. I went to school when I was 18, and I've always been a hairdresser. I've fell by the wayside a couple times and done different things, but 99% of my life I've been a hairdresser. And so um, I love it when I can make, you know, whether it's a guy's haircut, if he comes in with a big giant head of hair and he just wants his nice, you know, cool haircut, or, or whether it's just an updo, I just love doing hair. Um, and then I just thought this was so funny. This is a quote by Zsa Zsa Gabor, and I swear I saw her say this because I think she was on, like, you know, getting interviewed when she was still living about maybe 20 years ago. I swear I remember her actually saying this on TV. But um, she said, I'm a marvelous housekeeper. Every time I leave a man, I keep his house. <laughs> I love her. And she was so cool, too, right? Zsa Zsa Gabor. My God. Talk about glamour. And um, I just love funny things. That's why I put that in there. That kind of represents me because I, I love humor, you know. And then I love that saying. And I love coffee. And then this is the last of it, guys. I put Wonder Woman in there. And I always liked Wonder Woman, this version of it, Linda Carter. And I think part of the reason I really got into watching Wonder Woman is because her name is Linda, like me. And so I swear that was part of it. And then, um, of course, I loved the show. So, and I can't even believe they're saying she's 71. And I don't even know how old this book is, but look how beautiful she looks, even at 71. Wow. But anyway, guys, um, that's it. I really appreciate you all watching. And please join in. We do have a new person that jumped in this week, Lene. Um, Lene's channel is fabulous. Let, let me make sure I'm saying it right, because I always end up stuttering over my words sometimes. So Lene's channel is fabulously 50-something and beyond. So go check her out. Um, and she joined in this week, too. Thank you so much for doing that, Lene. Um, and I loved your journal. Okay, it was beautiful. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.